Welcome. This is going to be a big trout backpacking and fishing catch and cook adventure. And I'm here with my son Jordan and my dog, Blue Eyed Ollie. We are very excited about this and we are so glad that you're coming along with us. Right there, George. Yeah, for our tent. Oh, cover, actually. No deadfall that I can see that's going to come on us. So let's get our camp set up. Okay. What's really nice is we didn't do a long hike today. This stage of my life, being acclimated, really makes a difference between enjoyment and not. Any thoughts about being here in the wild? I've had a lot of time to myself just to not do anything at home since I temporarily retired. I've been doing that for five months now. I already came into this really relaxed. Oh. Enjoy every moment. It's just like all the little things. Like I went down to the river and soaked my feet and rinsed my face off and I just stood there in the river for, I don't know, 10 minutes. Cool. Okay, well, good, good night. night. Jinx. I'm just excited to be here. There's nothing like being in the mountains to me that's just like, just makes me feel so good. Tomorrow, we need to get to the big lake, but if we get there today, great. If we don't, that's great too. So let's, let's do it if we can, okay. Nice little trailside treat. What'd you find? I think this is the spot here. Nice. Holy. At the base of those cliffs is the big lake that we're gonna to go to tomorrow. We climbed a lot, over 2,000 feet, and it was like three and a half miles. I can do like a 12 mile day with 5,000 feet of gain, and that's a fairly normal day, but that's with just like a day pack. When you put a backpack on, it's just an entirely different game. That's 65 pounds. It was a challenge, but it was enjoyable. I, I always enjoy that. Well, once we got th through with it, I went in the tent with Ollie and we slept. And then after you did then that, we got out and then I, and I went down and found water at a spring. There was three springs around here and they all have dotted lines on the map, meaning they dry up. But I found one and I was able to fill our hydro blue bag up. I had to trench it. I was there crouching for a half hour, filling up this bag. Just half an hour? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. If there's a reminder that anybody needs, is this man works his ass off to do a lot of his stuff up here. Carrying his camera around, which is six pounds in his hand, he's like, oh yeah, sometimes my hand goes numb. I was like, holy shit, Dad. I think it's time for us to say goodnight. Good night. So I'm just making my morning pour over up here. I've pre-rinsed my filter here. Now I'm going to add 15 grams of coffee to this. This is coffee that I ground at home. So I've got a, the top of a pen and just put this in the lid to create a pour spout. I'm going to dig a little well in the grounds here to make it easier to pre-wet all these grounds. And I wait 45 seconds for the bloom. That just lets the coffee's gases escape, it lets the whole coffee bed get wet. I'm just trying to pour in the center here. 
And I apologize, you're not gonna be able to see some of this. I'm gonna stir the grounds, knock them down to the bed, swirl that a little bit, and then just let it go through. Have a great morning. This is possibly one of the best cups of coffee I've brewed. Ever. The setting obviously changes the perception. It's hard to know, but it's like really sweet and mild. Glacier. That is the high mountain lake that we're gonna stay at for the next few days. That does look like a grizzly. That is like fat, but it's way old. Well, it's not way old. That's moist. Really? Yeah. Oh, look, the lake. This is the northern tip of it. And I'm pretty sure I just saw a monster fish in there feeding at the top, over two feet long. Uh, I, think this this looks, is, I think this is the spot right here. This is pretty flat. It's not perfectly flat, but it's the flattest thing that we've seen. I've been wanting to fish this place for probably 10 or 15 years. And I'm finally here. Pound and a half, Snake River Cutthroat. One and three quarter pound rainbow, 17 inches long. Caught it with the Jake Spin Lure. Injured it in the gills, so we're gonna eat this one for breakfast. Beautiful filet that will be delicious eating tomorrow morning. Really good night of fishing. Caught three fish. I caught a cutthroat, two rainbows, all of them over a pound. This was a nice day, wasn't it? It was a nice day. And it was apparently a nice day on the lake too. <laughs> Even though you, I, I mean, I was asleep, but it sounds like you got some fish out there. Yeah. Really cool to come into this lake and see the uh, dramatic cliffs on the side. Reminds me of what I've seen of Yosemite. It just oh. kind of has that look to it. Mm -hmm. I'm just excited to, Fish it. Wow, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Good morning. It's time to do some catching. We got skunk this morning fishing. So what we'll be cooking this morning is rainbow trout and Louisiana New Orleans style fish fry. What do you have in there? And that's olive oil and ghee. I'll take a hot one. It's a beautiful mm. piece. I took the skin off of these. It was because the fish was losing its scales. Mm-hmm. That's kick ass. Well, we didn't like that.
Finally caught a fish today. It's a 22 inch, three pound rainbow trout. Got it on a black woolly bugger. And we're gonna eat that because it's the only fish we got and we got fish on the menu today. I cut the fish into really small pieces so they have a better flavor of the beer batter. But we cook the fish first because it won't cook through. That's how beer batter fish is, huh? I don't know. Oh. That's how I do it. We're just mixing up the beer batter. I find this kind of funny that this is Ollie's dog bowl and we're also mixing. We're just, we're all eating from the same place. The fish is semi-fried. Man, this is a labor of love. Yeah. Gourmet situation going on. <laughs> those look so good. Oh man, those look great. Cheers. Cheers. Is that a toast because it's beer? Yeah. It's like a full on crispy coating. Yeah, this is fantastic. We got beer batter still. So we can do some fish and chips. Oh, it's dancing. Let's see if it. Oh, yeah. Just like the fish, you cook the potatoes once first, you let them cool, and then you put them in the beer batter. Ooh. Looks pretty damn good. Mmm. Those are delicious. I just taste you. You want know better than beer battered chips? Beer battered chips with butter on top. Delightful little treat. Beer battered fish and chips. Yeah! That chocolate mudslide. Ooh, there's some. What's that? A peanut? Cookie crumb and toffee peanuts. I was fishing today, Jordan. I know like a fisherman's nightmare a little bit. I fished a fair amount and didn't get a single bite. But those days happen. Yeah. What a pleasant camp. It feels like I'm in a house because there's no air movement. I could actually go for some wind. I wouldn't mind a little bit of wind. <laughs> Let's uh, get hiking. like a rainbow. Just trolling the shores for bugs.
gosh, look at this. Place to put a fire, or a tent here, or up there. Yep. And we got a beautiful view of the lake. So we just crossed the creek, and that it's just right over this rock here. Right on the outlet, right before it starts to get swift, there are probably 50, 60 fish. We might as well just stop here, and the fishing's gonna be a gazillion times better than it was back where we were. Oh, it's cold. This is a toad. Might be two and a half pounds, 20 inches. Gonna be 20 inches. Beautiful rainbow. Boy, it's a pretty fish. Jordan and I need one more fish to eat tonight, so this is going to be it. Beautiful rainbow. God, that's got to be 18 inches long, but kind of skinny. These are the panko with the bay seasoning, and these are the Louisiana Cajun fish fry. Very crunchy with that panko, huh? The crunch is great. I'm gonna say it, they're too salty. Too much bay seasoning. Louisiana one's the winner for me. Let's not forget, mashed potatoes, baby reds. Okay, we fished like maniacs way until the night. It's like the olden days when we'd actually like fish just sun up to sundown. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Not always my idea of fun, but like I somehow just I got so obsessed with catching big fish. Now I'm just like I'm cool catching big fish, but I just like the experience. Hopefully we'll be able to catch like a four or five pounder. It'll be cool. I know there are bigger ones in here. It's exciting to know that. It is exciting. Yeah, especially when you're catching like two three pounders. It's somewhat common. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling ready to go to bed. Okay. All right. Good night. Good night.
20 inch rainbow About a 17, 18 inch rainbow. Beautiful. We're starting our dining experience with course number one and it's our dream. I disagree that this is this is not a course. This is just a preamble. I love the fact that he disagrees with me. I, yeah, it's, a drink is not a course, but <laughs> we're gonna allow it. I'll just let this go because it is your channel. You don't have to agree. You don't even have to just play along. I'll play along. Here's to a great meal. Ah, it's a nice beginning. We have pre-cooked three fish. We're gonna mix in the tempura mix, Badia Mojo Rub Citrus Blend. Looks maybe a little soupy. These are really just like the perfect texture. Light and crispy. Mm -hmm. It's so delicate. And the flavor, not overpowering. Mm -mm. What's your favorite between beer batter and tempura? I really like this one a lot. Mm -hmm. It's like a surprising amount. Now let's do tempura sweet potato. I was at Whole Foods and I was standing in front of four different sweet potatoes. Didn't know what one to buy. And the lady just quickly walks up and grabs a Hannah sweet potato. And I said, is that the best one? She says, that's my favorite. I said, that's good enough for me. So far, so good. Let's see. Oh, those look tasty. Cheers. Cheers. That's stupidly good. Mmm. That could be one of the best creations in the Mountain we've ever done. I would order those off a menu. It's raining and there's not a cloud over us. That's like a couple miles away at least. I'm having a hard time processing how good these are. Mm. There's so much going on. <laughs> like the citrus, a little bit of heat, sweet. It's just so light and complimentary. That's really good. We need to make that again. Okay. For our fourth course, I saw it online and I bought it. And I'm always up for an adventure. So I'm just boiling the one cup of water that this needs. So we'll wait 15 minutes after that. Gives us time to anticipate. The crumble mix goes in. Look how beautiful that is. This, mm -hmm. That's tasty. Mm -hmm. Nice different flavor. You know, it's not so heavy. It complements the meal well. I don't know if you can see this, but look at all the bugs. I've never seen this many. It's like a cloud of this crazy. Got this on a Prince Nymph with orange on it.
caught a really nice rainbow. Pretty awesome on an orange fly of some type. I don't know what it is. Congratulations on catching your biggest fish in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. What was he? Three pounds? I don't I think know. He was three pounds. I could barely it, barely able to get my hand, my fingers around him. Jordan asked for wind. I did ask for wind. The Andrama. I'm, I've gotten it all. Yeah. <laughs> That is a big fish. Was it 21 <laughs> inches? 21 inches. That was just shooting from the hip. Two and three quarter pounds. Definitely not the smallest one on the trip. Uh-uh. That one yesterday that I caught was probably four pounds. I mean, I just want to come look at it real quick, but... Yeah. Yeah, I bet that one was four pounds. Yeah. This morning for breakfast, we're gonna have beer batter and Southwestern refried beans. In the beer batter, we're gonna put in Zatarain's blackened seasoning. Mmm, that one's delicious. It's not the best fish I've ever had. I think I like more intense seasoning. There we go. I just need to sprinkle that directly on the fish. Now we're gonna make refried beans. Not real savory. No, not much flavoring. I don't think I'd ever do these again. It's raining. Jordan's outside just doing some incidentals, but he should be coming in. It has been raining for like the last hour and a half. Nothing quite as exciting as Sitting in a tent in 4K, you know? What our plan was today was to go to the end of the lake, the south end, and the weather was coming in, and I was just like, no, well, there's no way we're gonna get down there and then be able to get back. So we just turned around, came back, fished right here at the outlet, and Jordan caught one, and I caught one, and then we cooked those up. It was cool to go over to that spot. I was gonna take my uh, inflatable pad here and take it out on the water to a rock that was probably, you know, 10 square feet. And I was gonna fish off of that. And I got in the water and it just wasn't very stable. I've done it before on a different pad, but there was storm moving in and it was windy and I thought there might be lightning. And I'm just like, this is like a Jeopardy category. Things that can go south really fast for 500. <laughs> Good night. Good night. morning we're packing up and gonna move camp and we've got our coffee you're now on your third cup of coffee no, so this is my fourth oh my god he's gonna be bouncing confused. off the walls of the tent here um this is my second cup of coffee well i made real coffee pour over coffee and then this um colombian garbage that passes for coffee but it's okay garbage it's all right insult me some people like eating garbage it's insulting. <laughs> I don't know how you get around that one. But now it's clearing up. We got some blue sky for our backpack hike today. That will be cool. For a change. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got the wind that I wanted and the adversity. You do come up here to suffer a little bit. And this is something, an ability that I've gained in the last two or three years. And it really did start with being in the backcountry. I think also doing like the peak bagging. 
when I started doing that, I started to find that I could pull back from like having a moment of what would, people would typically call like suffering. And I would just focus on it and it would be really pleasant because I can always zoom out and go, this is gonna make a great story. The moment that narrative starts spinning in my head, it changes the experience. And then it's like, oh, this isn't permanent. I'm gonna be back in warmth and comfort eventually, or I'll die and then I won't know the difference, you know? So, it's, And I'm not even saying that like, you need the bad to appreciate the good. It's like you can actually learn to appreciate the bad. That's an awesome series of thoughts. Thank you. This was an incredible campsite. And the fishing here was exceptional. We had more fish than we could eat. We got totally full of fish last night. We had like one slab of one fish left. And we're thinking about eating that for lunch today. I've got all these pack on. We gotta cross a creek immediately. Let the adventures continue. Slick today, so just gotta take it slow. something so amazing and Ollie is He's telling you all about it. there was a black bear right here and I came around this corner here and Ollie darted forward because he saw it first I thought it was a wolf and then I realized from the snout that it was a bear and the way it ran yeah. and he ran up this way and Ollie <laughs> I was, chased him yeah and Ollie chased him saw there was a flash of black after you said wolf and that was probably half a second so that was cool that's the first time i've ever seen one up here and i've probably been up in here oh, i'd have to guess over a hundred nights crazy We were just down there. Oh yeah, we can do our campfire fish right there. Perfect. Do you like it? Seal of approval? He says, get my pack off of me. Okay, we're doing this bizarre thing where we set the tent up at somewhere else and, and I looked around for deadfall and there was a tree that had come down right on our head and it was cracked and old. And so I've had you, two though. trees this year come down near me.
This is the tree and why we moved our camp. It's cracked already almost like all the way up. That thing's coming down in a heavy windstorm. This is something I've been wanting to try out for a little while. I've had it in my pack of stuff that I just haven't used. There we go. Oh, it took four minutes. So this water, as you can see, is kind of like a green tint to it. It's already been filtered. It came from the meadow over there in the little creek. We figure it has chlorophyll in it, so hopefully it's healthy for us. Got Ollie's supper. No, no, come here. Sit. Sit. Okay. It's just leftover oil and ghee. Pure ghee. Just sitting in that dry rub it seems to have permeated the fish. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm really glad we did campfire fish. Me too. We're ready for dessert, dark chocolate cheesecake mix. One of our favorites. We eat good, don't we? We do eat pretty good. I hear you're a lap dog. Yeah. Is that enough? What a fantastic day. Well, it's been a great day. Yeah, we didn't even have to catch a fish, but we ate fish. That was such good fish. It was marinated overnight, and I'm eating uh, loaded baked potatoes. Eating with reckless abandon at the end of a trip is just, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's just one of the best pleasures there is. You're just like, oh, I've got to eat all that? Oh, man. <laughs> all right, well, I guess if I have to, See, even he gets excited because he gets to eat extra portions. Look, look how fat he's getting. He's so fat. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. He's so fat. You're getting it's okay. So... It's okay. It's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. He's getting heavy. It's getting dark. Okay, well, let's say good night. Figured there's uh, eggs and creme brulee, so I'm going to eat creme brulee for breakfast. First bite. Eggs are great. Well, it turns out I'm looking at the ingredients here. There are no eggs in this at all. Hey, oh, you see that squirrel again? <laughs> we were gonna survive out here, what, about 11, 12 days? Yeah. We came in with about four and a half cans of fuel. We were looking at our fuel situation because cooking tempura and beer batter, it takes tons of fuel. We decided for our own survival, we'd go out a little early. Hmm? Okay. I don't know, I feel good. I wanted to see this big lake. I wanted to catch big fish in it. We did that. Yep. Yep. So with all that said, we're gonna head on out today. We're a very short distance from the trailhead, and we wanted just to give you some of our thoughts. Yesterday was the best backpacking. Yeah, just crossing the creek, seeing the bear, all the scenery, the waterfalls. What was your favorite camp? Favorite camp? I really liked last night's campsite. I thought that was cool. I just liked that it was open and it was spread out. You know, you had the bear bags in one place and the fire in another and camp in another place. I just felt 
I don't know, I just like that open air you feel. And then the being right there by the meadow, oh. You already know your best fishing day. Yeah. Well, I was just having an absolute blast fishing for these huge beasts. And I just kept catching one right after another, fat ones, long ones. What was the worst moment for you? It's gonna sound weird, but like when the weather was too mild and it was nothing was going on and it was hot in the day and it was just warm at night. Your favorite fishing? Mm, it was when I went over the cliff. It looks really sketchy and it kind of is sketchy. There was a section where I caught the fish and I was like getting back down and I thought I might fall in. But yeah, that was cool just to see the fish come up and strike my lure. I just like that. Yeah. And also when I was on the ledge and then I had to figure out how to get down while holding and keeping a big fish on the line. I like that complexity of that. Right. So what's it like backpacking and camping and fishing with Ollie? Pretty obedient. His only problem is he doesn't understand he's a wide load when he's got his backpack on. And he almost took you out coming down. When we were coming down the really steep uh, switchbacks, he would go out on the rock edge and it was like a 50 foot drop. And it just made my stomach turn. And what made me so nervous is because he sees a squirrel and he just bolts. So it's like if he saw a squirrel off the cliff, would he just jump off the cliff? You might, you don't know. Yeah. But at night, he sleeps really well, doesn't bother me, keeps us warm. But yeah, he's great to have along. Oh, I wanted just to say how nice it was to have you back on the trail with me and yeah. camp and fishing and enjoying the meals and uh, photography work. And it's good. Uh, I just am happy that he was with me. It's been a while since I've seen you anyway, for any length of time. Yeah. This was nice to hang out with you. Oh, good. Okay, well, we want to thank you for coming along with us. So, until next time.